Okay, Paso YouTube, <clears throat> two nights in a row here. Crazy. And also two times in a row that it let me use a actual thumbnail for the video rather than using my, uh, gosh, how old is that thing? Probably from like 2008, like tune photo <clears throat> of my face, scowling, making that scowl face. I'm going to, same, it's one day after the last video I did, so it's going to be again with the new Belgium Trapel, um, using my Atwood at wrench. This is the Imperial at wrench for my opener, just because it's kind of my favorite opener. It's a little gudgy. Um, this guy's been on my keychain just for, I guess I'll just say here. Um, five years. This thing's been on my keychain every single day for five years. <clears throat> and that's, uh, um, that's saying something because I, I definitely don't baby it. It's a, it's a blue anodized titanium. Obviously the anodization has cooled out a bit. It, uh, certainly used to be a little bit more blue, but yeah. <clears throat> So, I'm going to talk a little bit about my Kestrel Feather. Um, this is the RMJ 4140, which I'm pretty excited about. Um, <clears throat> I am really bummed I never did a video on it, which is fucked up, because it would have it would have been some super good, goofy-ass footage <clears throat> for me to have done. But I had, for for years and years, during my hiatus from YouTube, not that it matters to fucking tell cool stories, it doesn't happen if you didn't take pictures or whatever, but I had a Jenny Wren for, for several years, and uh, I tell you what, man, the, the, uh, the RMJ stuff is off the charts, um, <clears throat> fantastic, off the charts, durable. Unfortunately, it also is off the charts expensive. Um, I, I was pretty excited to be able to get this one in 4140, um, which is a really oddball um, material as far as like for uh, any kind of <clears throat> cutting tool goes. 4140 is, is, as far as I know, the most common use for it is in steel bicycle frames. That's what you're gonna find in like your very common um, for, for steel bicycle frames. Um, so when I first got my Jenny Wren, um, you know, and the fucking things are super expensive. It's like 400, 450 bucks or something like that. I think, it, I think a Jenny Wren these days is like 465, but, um, man, I did not know what to think about 4140 steel. These things are, mm, you know what? I'm gonna misspeak but they go through some absurd amount of like processes for their heat treat. I want to say it's like five <clears throat> different, like, um, what's, what would be the term? Five different, uh, um, phases of heat treat <clears throat> for these things. And, um, you know, honestly, for me, if, if, uh, I got this knife, uh, or knife, this tomahawk secondhand, I didn't really have a whole lot of interest in uh, um, the RMJs with like this big kind of, it's like a seven inch um, head on this thing, bit, whatever you want to call it. It's a little um, large, I guess. It's a little kind of stabby and crazy looking, especially with the, I could definitely do without the skull and crossbones. Um, I don't think I ever did do a Jenny Wren um, video. Um, but I don't think my Jenny had a skull and crossbones. I think it just had the, the bird on it. Mine was, oh shit, man. It's, mine was an older one for sure. It, it was back when they still had like the Phillips screws and everything on there, <clears throat> which were Loctited to the bejesus. Like I could not budge those screws. I didn't fucking care anyway. Um, but, uh, if you guys, if, if for any, by any chance you follow me on Instagram, I did, do some Instagram posts on my Jenny Wren. And it was like, I mean, you'll see like the blade was destroyed, not destroyed, but like 
more than any RMJ you're going to see. Like, because, I mean, I fucking... Not only did I throw it at shit, like, as hard as I could, I encouraged my friends, hey, man, fucking give it hell. And, uh, uh, <clears throat> sorry, I just had a bag fall over. Um, give it hell. And, you know, Jesus, like, people would throw it as hard as they could and hit, like, a granite boulder with the thing, you know, and that, it happened over and over. So long story short, <clears throat> the, the things are just unreal durable. And, um... The 4140 steel, too, uh, you, you can't even believe how easy it is to sharpen after all that, too. Like, it, it takes a licking, keeps on ticking, and then as, uh, somehow, like, <clears throat> I think I said before to somebody, like, literally, it almost sharpens itself. Like, I mean, you can't believe how easy, at least my Jenny Wren was, to sharpen. Um, I plan on trying to go ahead and pick up one of the new Jennies, um, with the, oh shit, I'm gonna fuck up the steel, 8, 80CR V2, shit, I, I can't remember what the, the steel they're using now is, um, but it, rep they report that it, uh, has basically the same durability with more, um, <clears throat> same toughness with more, um, edge retention, and I, honestly, I don't, I didn't have a problem with my, my Jenny's edge retention, I mean, doing, like, stupid, stupid things with it, sure, but, yeah, the one thing that I feel like I'm, I, again, I've not obviously carried this, I've not done anything, you know, w with this uh, thing, because I, I want to get a Jenny in my hand, and uh, again, and and really compare it, before I decide that I'm going to go ahead and start hucking this at dead trees, um, dead trees only, I feel like, I don't, I really, you know, <clears throat> I'm not, I'm not going to try to wound, you know, the live trees. Um, but, uh, <clears throat> one, one part of it that honestly is a little like, uh, I don't know about that. I mean, it's like, if you look at this thing, it's like, if, if this turns into a user, um, you know, what's the first thing that's going to get dicked up on this thing? And obviously it's like where the beard edge meets the main like bit if that's the right term, the main, the main edge of the, the actual tomahawk. I mean, look at this thing. That is ridiculous. That's like the, the tip of a spider co or something like that. It is like a fine, fine tip on this thing. Um, I don't know. I mean, I guess I could see like what they say is like that, that it's to be used like a can opener kind of thing. It's so, like you could like hit it through jaws of life style into a car and then pry up with it and you're going to use the beard um as you pry you know the leverage there to open <clears throat> metal with <laughs> i guess uh i don't again you know something like this is two things i guess for me is and one is like a, a multi-tool of sorts like you can you can do a lot of things with this you can you know obviously chop wood with it um, you know, uh, <clears throat> you could use it as a, as a rescue tool for sure. You could use it as like a breaching tool for sure. Um, some kind of escape and evasion tool. Absolutely. Um, so yeah, I'm, my Jenny, my Jenny, like when I, when I had that, like I, 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 I looked at it only as a fucking toy, you know, like, which is why I don't have it anymore. Uh, <clears throat> also at the time, if you look back at my previous videos, you know, you'll see like I lived in that ruin for years and years, you know, I, when I was a full-time guide, you know, living with the, you know, crazy raft guides year round and, uh, you know, living in Terlingua, Texas, um, Dude, I mean, that was just, it was just a different different time of my life, much, much crazier. Like, <clears throat> now I live in a condo, you know, I'm a full-time, you know, business owner, and, like, I don't have any place that I'm going to be throwing this fucking thing or just goofing around with it anyway, unless just, like, it's on a camping trip, you know, which I try to get out on three, four, five camping trips a year, but... Um, my wife and I both are self-employed, so... It, it can become sorry about that bump. It can be it be it can become a little bit difficult to get away. 
um, as often as I'd like. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> that's kind of how I see this thing. And honestly, that's kind of what it, what it is, you know? I mean, if you look up what uh, at least people who are Tomahawk enthusiasts, um, I mean, they kind of look at it as a multi-tool. Um, one thing that I don't think I mentioned this or not, <clears throat> that I feel like I'm going to miss, the, the the main reason I'm going to not use this until I do get <clears throat> a Jenny in my hands, and like I can't, obviously, you know, that's that's a lot to ask, you know, like these are 480 bucks <clears throat> and a Jenny's 465, so it's like that's a lot of scratch just to be fucking around with. So I, I want to, I want to, I got this one secondhand, um, obviously, obviously like never use. I mean, like the guy sold it to me like as new and it, it, it clearly is, you know, I'm, <clears throat> I have several hatchets and I have a few, I have a hmm, JK knives. Um, I forget. He's a, he's a custom knife maker on blade forms. I've got one of his tomahawks that I actually custom designed and had him make for me. Uh, that one I've thrown a fucking million times too. It's pretty dicked up. Um, <clears throat> and I think it's in my wife's Subaru. <laughs> I think she's got it in there to, um, be, a, be some kind of like multi-tool, you know, for her, <clears throat> should she need it. Um, <sighs> what else? What else? You know, I, yeah, I don't know. I, 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 uh, <clears throat> this thing is a little, obviously, I mean, it's a tomahawk. It's a little crazy looking. It's a little crazy, uh, you know, <clears throat> especially compared to the Jenny Wren. Like this thing looks like, it's like, oh, what the fuck that? It looks like some kind of, it, it looks like a goofy ass person's, you know, um, I don't know, toy, I guess, you know, like seeing somebody like on a hiking trail with one of these strapped to their bodies, you might be like, okay, fucking, you know, uh, I don't have a funny term, some Game of Thrones dude or something, you know, but like where the Jenny Wren looks much more like a tool, even though it basically has the same things. It has the, you know, the sharpened main edge, it has a sharpened beard, the Jenny actually sharpened all the way around, which is actually pretty cool. It's sharpened completely all the way around. And it's, they, they shrink the head down. I, I want to say it's like five inches where this one's seven, maybe it's five and a half. Um, and then, yeah, it's just, it's, it's a more useful, <clears throat> seemingly at least useful item. Um, one thing that I really liked about the Jenny that actually kind of got in the way for just like complete horseplay. Um, what is that the G10 handle goes all the way up to like here. So you can, <clears throat> and I actually did a few times, basically just use it as a knife. Um, where this obviously you can, but it's, if you're gonna hold it on a comfortable handle material, you're gonna be a little bit farther away from the edge, which we all know is, makes it a little bit more difficult. Um, <clears throat> to be honest, 13 minutes in, the main thing that I really wanted to do to make this video is kind of talk about the, <clears throat> the fit and finish of it. It's like, yeah, I've had a lot of experience with testing the durability. I mean, honestly, as much as anybody, um, <clears throat> testing the durability of the RMJ Hawk that I beat the shit out of. Um, so that, that, I guess that's what I just did for the last 13 minutes, but I, I really kind of wanted to brush on something that I didn't really think about all that much on my Jenny. I'm sure it crossed my mind, but honestly, it's the, uh, the fit and finish, the quality of manufacture of this thing. It is absolutely, uh, <clears throat> what some might call a gem. It is a, it is a gem. It, it, I mean, like the machining on this thing is, <clears throat> I wouldn't say second to none, but it is impeccable. Like, I mean, you, you would think, oh yeah, it's a $480 Hawk, so it better be, better have some nice machining. But again, that's not really what they're selling. You know, they're selling, all the other stuff I talked about, like tried and true, super durable. Like, I mean, this hawk is kind of, or this uh, spike is hanging way off of there. 
<clears throat> it's a quarter inch thick, which is a lot for a knife, but it really isn't that much for a tool like this. Um, again, though, the 4140 steel, super duper durable. And it seems like that's what they're selling. It's like, hey, you know what? This is a fucking D-Day. You can do anything with this tool, and it almost guarantees, like, I think, I think they said they've only received, out of like thousands and thousands of these things, they've only received something really small, like four, that actually have broken. Something really, really small. Um, but yeah, the machining is just, just incredible. It is just, it's unreal. I really love these, like, kind of flutes on here. It kind of reminds me, actually, of the Chris Reeve uh, and Pinda. And Pinda? No. And Yela, you fucking shithead. And Pinda. That's their little slip joint. Um, <clears throat> then Yela is a discontinued knife, actually. And <laughs> oddly enough, also has, like, kind of a shrunken handle. This, These shrunken handles on this one and on my Jenny Ren never bothered me. But I have owned every single Chris Reeve fixed blade knife, and I don't like any of them, to be honest with you. Compared to, like, a knife that doesn't have a shrunken handle, I, it's it's <clears throat> it's more better to not have, much more better to not have shrunken handles. But somehow this works. I think it's because it's so rounded. But again, the, the Niela is super rounded, too. Anyway, um, yeah, I wanted to talk about the machining. For sure. It honestly was the number one point. Oh, there was like kind of a little artifact there that I hadn't noticed before. Um, it's the number one thing that I, I thought about when I was like, I'm going to make a video on my uh, Kestrel Feather. It, it was just like, <clears throat> I mean, the edge grinds on this thing are just gorgeous, perfect. I mean, I mean, you can see it's a little wider here than it is here, and then widens out again. Couldn't tell you exactly why that is, but it's totally symmetrical, and it looks just great. The grinding on this uh, point here is just, like, perfect. And, you know, it's honestly, I would say, again, they're not... I don't think that's what they're selling. I don't think that's why people buy this shit. They're not like, God damn it, the fucking... You know, machining better be just perfect. It, it, you know, I guess surely it, it, it's better if it is, but it's just not what I considered that I was getting. You know, the G10 handle scales are just, they're perfect. You know, they're, they're machined perfectly. And they're, <clears throat> you know, set with these tubes. And again... It's absolutely perfectly set in the on the handle. And the machining is just stunning on it. These neat little ripples for gripple ripples are on there. And they're 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 really great. Um this thing is I wanna say thirteen and a half inches, like by seven, maybe seven and a half, something like that. Um it, it's uh it is a good size honestly like i i, I got this thing because it was a really good price second hand and i was just like ah fuck it you know what I, yeah i want a jenny wren but i'll just i'll you know i'll try the kestrel i think the kestrel was their first model could be wrong i think it actually preceded the shrike even um this is the kestrel feather so they shave off like four or five ounces by making it quarter inch instead of three eighths i uh, don't really care too much either way um <clears throat> quarter inch is the Jenny Wrens are quarter inch, and like I said, I beat the fuck out of that thing and never had any issues with it. So I don't, I, it, yeah, it doesn't even make me think twice at all. Um, but we'll see. I mean, at some point, this thing is going to see, well, either this or my Jenny Wren will see some use, and uh, we'll take it from there. I guess I'll talk a little bit about the sheath. Um, this thing is fucking beefy as can be. I don't I have another Kydex sheath. Actually, yeah, I do. Jeremy. So this would be like your typical Kydex. I don't even know what that thickness is, but that's like your normal, what most Kydex sheaths are. This thickness here. And look at this shit. It is beefy Kydex. Super beefy. You can see here. Look at that. 
comparison. So super nice, actually. I mean, this is a, it's a very nice, very nice uh, um, bottom eject sheath that comes with these things. It's a little too tight, I, to be honest with you. I haven't like, obviously, I haven't even decided how I'm gonna carry this thing. The way I did my Jenny Wren, I don't think before, I don't think it had two holes kind of centrally located like this. I think I used like these two holes. And I just kind of wore it like a sling under my left shoulder so I could like grab it and, or under my left shoulder, under my left armpit so I could just grab it, pull it out, and do some fucking ninja moves. <laughs> but uh, uh, the, the, the sheath is really nice. Again, every fucking time I pull this thing out, I'm like, I'm going to cut the shit out of myself because this thing is, I mean, it's, it's as sharp as any knife that, that uh, you're going to come across. Um, seems to me, God damn it. I just know I'm going to cut myself on this fucking live video. Seems to me that, uh, it's harder to, um, put in than it is to take out, which maybe makes sense. I don't know. Um, but either way, it's really in there. It, uh, I love the connect, the pull the dot connector. My previous Jenny Wren had webbing with like a regular, I don't even know what you call it. Um, shitty you know standard issue clip on there so the pull the dot is like way better it works really nice super smooth um it also comes with two pull the dot like belt loop things which seems kind of weird i don't know why you'd wear it on your belt this down here it would be it'd be hard to take off your belt i think um or maybe you just grab it and pull it away from your body ah fuck you know what i don't know um, either way, if I was to wear this thing out, <laughs> out and about, I would, again, I would go incognito and wear it outside my clothes, but kind of under my left armpit. Um, <clears throat> so that way I could get, get when I'm getting eaten by a mountain lion, I can at least get a couple of blows in. Just kidding. Um, but yeah, that's really all I had to, uh, about this thing. Um, you know, yeah, they're expensive, but honestly, you know, when I look at all the tomahawks that are out there, all the offerings that are out there, to me, it's like, I don't know, I'm either going to go with like something really fucking amazing, like an RMJ, and, and honestly, just would, it would just be an RMJ, or I would go with like a fucking S-Wing or something like that, you know, like, I, I don't think I would really hit the middle ground too, too much, maybe the, an American tomahawk. Those American Tomahawk Model 1s actually look pretty fucking cool, but I would ha I just feel like I need I'd have to get one in my hand. They're still like 200 bucks or 189 or something like that. I so I feel like I'd have to get one in my hand. And then there's the um there's a couple Spider Co offerings. One is like a US made one, but I want to say that it's like 18 inches long, and this is already 13 inches long and this is as big as I would ever want to go. Um, unless I'm just getting it, buying an ax, you know, so, but this thing here is, I consider more of like a multi-tool, right? You can just kind of do all kinds of different things with it. Um, mainly in the, in the field of like, I would say, um, rescues slash self rescues, escape evade, um, uh, whatever that, that kind of stuff. And then also just a fucking fun Thing to screw with in the, you know, in the backcountry. So, um, but that's all I got. I was just gonna chat about this little uh, Kestrel feather a little bit. Again, like, uh, <clears throat> it's not like if you have the means, I would pick one up. You know, whatever the Ferris Bueller said. It's like it's almost more like this thing. My Jenny, you know, I beat it until like to death, and then I still sold it for like three hundred bucks. So like all this shit. That, that I play with, you know, it's like, I don't really have enough, I, I, I don't ever consider like that when I spend 400 bucks on like something goofy like this, I don't really even consider that like I own it, you know, for me, it's more like, I'm just renting it for a little while. I'll pay 200 bucks to rent it, fucking have, you know, much more than $200 worth of fun with it. And then I, it'll, then I'll sell it again, you know, most likely, um, where it's like, that gave me months and months and hours and, you know, endless hours of entertainment that were $200 is actually a, a fucking really good deal, you know? So that's kind of how I look at it. So it's not like, 
if you have the means, pick one up. Like you're throwing your money away. It, it's kind of as, I mean, it kind of is like an investment, but either way, it's recreation. Recreation costs money. Um, Pablo Abra, to Madre, guys, and we'll see you next time, boys.